Hey all, um, people have suggested that I should do more jokes and I don't see why not, so here goes nothing. Uh, this is actually my favorite joke of all time, I have known it for about 15 years and I've loved it ever since. So uh, basically that there's a dude and this dude has a knife in his back, like he's been stabbed. Uh, the premise is as simple as that. There's no need to, to tell more. This dude has been stabbed in the back. So, um, he, naturally, he goes what everyone would do in uh, in this situation. He goes to see his doctor, right? That's the logical thing to do, I think. And uh, this dude um, has the same opinion. He goes to see his doctor, uh, which is um, his family doctor. For um, This is a GP, general practitioner. And um, so this dude he goes to see his doctor and he explains, uh, well, his situation, which is really simple. He got stabbed and he has a knife in his back. So, um, well, he asks the doctor for help, which is the point of going to see the doctor. It's not just to tell him that he has been stabbed and he has a knife in his back. It's, uh, you know, he wants a doctor to help him, as a doctor should help you with your little and big health issues. And a knife stabbed in the back is definitely a health concern. Remember, kids. So, basically, that's it. The guy is in front of his doctor's office, and as he arrives to his doctor's, uh, he sees the doctor uh, leaving, like he's uh, closing the door, he has his keys in his hand. And uh, so he goes right to him. The dude goes right to his doctor and he says, Doctor, doctor, um, I've been stabbed and I, I got a knife in my back. And uh, the, the doctor looks at him. And he's like, um, sorry for you, man. Too bad. But uh, actually, would you look at the time? Uh, it's uh, 7 p.m. And would you look at this little paper that is on my door? It says that I close at 7 p.m. So basically, uh, my, my day is done. I'm going to go home, see my wife, have a nice dinner. And uh, I've, I've done enough work for today. I, I close at 7 and I, I'm not the kind of guy who does, you know, extra hours. I'm, I'm not into overtime. Not this kind of dude. So, um, well, see ya. Uh, good luck. Go home. Whatever. And um, the dude, he won't accept that. I mean, it's pretty understandable. In this situation, you, you you would be pretty... Well, he's literally and figuratively in shock. So uh, he insists. He insists. And uh, he, he won't back down. He starts raising it, his voice. He, he starts, you know, saying, Doctor, you gotta help me. Remember the, the Hippocratic Oath and all that shit. Uh, remember that you're supposed to help me. Uh, you've been my family doctor for uh, at least 10 years. And uh, I, I really, really need help. I think my life might really be in danger. And uh, I got this knife in, in my back. And, and, and yeah, I've, I've, I've been stabbed. And, and you're my doctor. So, so you got to help me. You got to help me now, doctor. Uh, and the doctor is like, it's is having none of it. The doctor is having none of that shit. He's, he's, uh stays on his line, you know, he stays on his position, it's like, you know, it's already like, oh, seven past for three minutes, and um, I, I really want to go home, unwind, you know, my, my wife has made some pot roast, and uh, I really want to eat that, I'm, I'm hungry, there's been a, a flu epidemic, you know, and I've had a lot of 
assholes to cure today. Sneezing and disgusting and it really was a hard day. It was a hard day. And um well the the time is over. It's uh it's seven PM. I close at seven, I'm gonna go into my car, get home, go see my wife, go eat my pot roast, sleep and, and forget about all this shit. I need to I need, I need to go home and unwind and, and I, I think I'm entitled to that. I've worked hard all day long. So um I don't know man. Figure it out. But I'm not helping you. My I've had I've worked enough for today. I'm done. I'm going home and that's final. And the the, the dude who has a knife in his back he goes mental. He starts going ape shit. Like he's he's panicking and he he's furious and and afraid and you know all that because he's been stabbed and he has a knife in his back and um and he starts really yelling and uh almost crying and he's like doctor doctor and he's, he goes he, he drops to his knees and he grabs the doctor jacket and he starts shaking it you know it's really the the whole nine yards the doctor doctor you gotta help me i've been stabbed like a knife in my back and the doctor is ah. after a while he just he has to he accepts you know he he's just uh okay he's like okay you you won okay you really i see that i can do nothing but help you or you just will keep busting my balls and uh i got no time for this it's uh five past seven uh, i really really, really want to go home so i'm, I'm gonna help you and uh Fuck you, man. But okay, get back up. Get get back up on your feet. I'm 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 gonna help you with this fucking stupid knife that you have in your back. And it was like, oh, thank you. Finally, man, doctor. Finally, you you helped me. And uh, the doctor is like, well, uh, turn around so I can see the the knife. And so he looks at the knife and he takes the knife and he gets it out the the dude's back and he plants it. He stabs it right in his eye. And he's like, see across the street, there's an ophthalmologist. And he closes seven and a half. <laughs> this is a, a best, best fucking joke. In the world, guys. You read it here first. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it as, as much as I enjoy it. And I've been keeping enjoying it for the past 15 years. I've never heard a joke as funny as this one. And uh, this might be legit the best joke in the world. So, um, you have been enlightened. Brothers and sisters, have a nice day, whatever. Peace.